When you look at what's happening in the economy broadly and its impact on small businesses, and we're talking about inflation and commodity costs and supply chain issues and the like, and then you think about what the administration is doing and, and the approach the Democratic Party is taking, do you think it's working? I think we have to look longitudinally at what has been happening for small businesses for quite some time. There has been a tendency, regardless of administration, to think about solutions for small businesses as scaled down Fortune 100. We see these macro solutions for what are typically micro businesses. And the real issue is that the capital market solutions for small businesses are different than the capital solutions for large businesses. Small businesses do best when they have customers, when they can sell their products into the marketplace, not when they sell their equity to investors and to loan companies. And so one of the challenges we talk about is how do we monetize and make certain that the most important capital market for small businesses, which is the fact that they spend their money often funding larger companies funding their customers, how do we put that money back into small businesses? So it's not a partisan issue. It really is a challenge of having a lot of corporate leaders who've never run small businesses making those decisions. Stacey, I know we, we both love uh, the state of Georgia, and somehow Georgia is back in, in like the center of the universe. I couldn't believe last election how, how important it was. So you're going to do it again, going to run again. And I know you've answered this question again and, and again, but I want to uh, ask you a little bit differently because you continue uh, to express kind of a nuanced view on what really happened uh, in 2018. On the one hand, you say, uh, I think it, at the time, 10 days after the election, a concession means to acknowledge something, uh, an action is right, true or proper. And as a woman of conscience, I cannot concede. And then it got more nuanced where you said, well, uh, Kemp won under the rules of the game at the time. Uh, but the game was rigged against the voters in Georgia. So I can tell you for a fact that Republicans are going to use this uh, against you uh, and, and ask you questions. You've answered it before, but they're going to say it's hypocritical uh, for Democrats to criticize people that question the integrity of an election when you did the same thing. One even said you were ahead of your time uh, in claiming the results of an election were rigged. Do you think this next election, is, has, the, has the game changed? Is it still rigged, or do you think it's at this point that it will be a fair election in 2022 in Georgia. What I've always spoken to is the ability of voters to cast their ballots and have their ballots counted. There is not a single politician, including myself, who is entitled to win an election. And that was never my point. The point is we have to make certain that the voters have the ability to register and stay on the rolls, cast their ballots and have their ballots counted. And sadly, in 2021, in response to the safest election in Georgia history, we saw the promulgation of SB 202, which makes it harder for voters to participate in elections. That should always concern every American, especially every Georgian. And I'm going to be working hard to make certain that the effects of that law are mitigated for every voter, regardless of who they intend to vote for when they get into the rolls, get to the polls. But the larger issue, and this goes to the systemic issue that we're talking about for small businesses, we have to make certain that the process is fair. And that those who want to participate, whether you're running a small business or casting your ballot, that you have the ability to do so in a fair and equitable manner. And that should be our mission. I can't do a thing about what the Republicans or others are going to say, but I can be true to my word and I can do what I've done for the last four years as a private citizen. And that is work to make certain things are made better for others. As a small business owner, I work to put money into the pockets of small businesses during this last time, during this interregnum, and I'm going to do the work I can to make sure that, as governor, we can ensure that voters have access, that small businesses have access, and that the state of Georgia is seen as a shining star where no matter where you start, no matter your background, your zip code, or your access to power, your ability to succeed and have opportunity is strong in the state of Georgia.